There's a lot of interest in organic, sustainable meat production that's good for the planet and good for you. But here's one greener way to get your burger that you may not have heard of, in vitro meat. Here's what you need to know. The world uses billions of animals for meat every year, and the act of actually raising them has a huge impact on the environment. Um, when you have factory farms as we do in the United States, they produce vast amounts of, of actual manure and waste that can create serious air pollution, water pollution, can create greenhouse gases that can affect climate change. And the demand for meat is only expected to continue to increase. Uh, one estimate suggests that we could need 60% more meat by 2050 for the entire world. So scientists have actually been looking at a way, instead of growing a whole animal the way you would in a farm, actually growing meat, meat tissue, in labs, or what's known as in vitro meat. The idea basically would be that you would take uh, some stem cells from a pig, from a chicken, from a, from a cow, culture it in a, in a lab, and then grow it using a, a gross serum that contains proteins, amino acids, uh, sort of grow it in as, a, as a steak, sort of add in some other ingredients, some fat, and actually create just, just the meat itself. For vegetarians, this, is, this could be a, a, a big change because you don't have the issue of, of raising and then killing animals. Uh, in fact, uh, PETA, the people, people for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, has actually put forward a $1 million prize for the first scientist that's going to be able to produce a commercial uh, lab-grown burger. Uh, we have scientists who are getting very close in the lab to creating pilot projects. Uh, there's a scientist in the Netherlands named Mark Post who's probably farthest along, who's really only a few months away from creating what would be really the first lab-grown burger. Problem is that burger is going to cost uh, right now hundreds of thousands of dollars because it's still very much in the pilot scale. So if we don't want to change our lifestyle, if we don't want to change our consumption habits, we're probably going to have to augment the, the meat we grow now with something that could be grown in a, in a lab. Um, and the, the result could be good for the planet, good for the animals themselves, and potentially good tasting, provided those scientists can actually figure out how to make a, a lab-grown burger taste like a regular one.